Hello and welcome to DTWG the Prep. Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be going through quadratic equations and we're going to be looking at um, factoring and solving uh, quadratic e equations that are this type, where the coefficient of your x square is 1. All right. Okay, there's, there's, there's an advanced one, which is after this video, where the coefficient of your x square is greater than 1. There's a separate method to use to solve that. Okay, but you know, this one is quite easy and quite straightforward for you to get and understand. Okay, to solve, you know, because the coefficient here is 1. All right, so we're going to be solving these 11 questions. And I believe that at the end of this video, you would... Any question like this you see on the GED, you will be able to get it. <laughs> I trust that. Okay, because the GED is mostly uh, more than 50% algebra. Okay, so you should be prepared for questions like this. All right, so we're going to be going through this. Before I um, get on to the video, please do try to um, subscribe to this YouTube channel and also to uh you know um you can check our website all right dtwgdprep.com okay where you'll find summary notes study guides um practice questions free free resources your summary note on social studies and your sciences you're going to get it in the dtwgdprep.com website you can also check our facebook group where over 22000 members in the group i'm an admin in the group okay where you can you know drop your questions you know you have questions about the gd how to sit for it online uh, about the gd in your states maybe new york looking for centers okay in arizona whichever state or whichever country you're calling from uh, you know asia um south africa you can join um the facebook group to ask your question and you know if you need that motivation support the group is here to give it to you okay and if you require one-on-one -on -one tutorial you can contact me all right and if you want to go through our courses uh, um, um our courses you know that's well arranged with pdf um practice and worksheets you can check this on our website all the links would be in the video description box of this video okay so now for the first question let me quickly sorry let me rule out three lines for the first question here it says factor so there's a difference between factoring and solving now when you're factoring you're just looking for the factors which we're going to do when you're solving you're looking for a value of x all right, so now this first question says factor this. It is from factoring that you can solve. Okay, that's the way the step follows. You have to be able to factor then before you can solve. So to factor this, how do you do this? What method do you use? This is a simple method I teach all of my students. I tutor one on one. So you write here, you do x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now, you look at this number, this positive 4. Don't all forget the sign. Always carry the sign with it. Okay? So this number, this constant here, you know, it matters, called a constant, when a number just stands alone without a variable. So this constant here, positive 4, you have to find out the factors of 4. So the positive 4, factors of 4 is 1, 2, and 4. And what do I mean by factors in math? These are numbers that can be divided by 4 without a remainder. When you divide 4 by 1, there's no remainder. Uh, you, you get 4. When you divide uh, 4 by 2, you get 2. Okay, there's no remainder. It's just a whole number. And when you do 4 divided by 4, you get 1. There's no remainder. So that is what a factor is. So when, whenever I say find the factor of a number, you know, this is what it means. A number that when you divide by that particular number, there's no remainder. Okay, so the factors of 4 is 1, 2, and 4. Now, this is where your understanding of sign numbers and, you know, dealing with sign and, uh, you know, sign numbers as negative and positive number comes in handy. Okay, comes in, comes in, comes in very, very handy, which please, I do beg you to please 
do watch that video and really, really do understand it before you start anything in algebra. That's why on the course list, the first thing you do is understanding sign numbers, the operations, how you add, subtract negative and positive numbers. Very important in algebra because you use it through that knowledge throughout algebra. You can't escape it. And the sad truth is if you miss it there, you miss the whole question. That's the sad truth. So please do understand sign numbers. I have taken time to explain it in that video. Okay, you will see it in the course in the website. Okay, so positive four, these are the factors. Now you now have to find two numbers or one number that you either subtract or add that would give you this negative four. That's the coefficient of this x here. You have to find two numbers that you add or subtract that would give you what? Negative four. It can be two different numbers. It can be one number used twice. All right, so it is not limited to using two different numbers. You can use one number twice. In this case, to get negative four, we have to use two twice. So to get a negative four, we have to do a negative two, negative two. And what does that give you? That gives you this negative four. All right. And you also have to confirm again that when you multiply negative two times negative two, it should give you this positive four. That's this factor. Positive four. Are you saying it? So when it meets these two rules, then the factors that we to use as our answer in this particular um, uh, a quadratic equation is negative 2, negative 2. So how do we do this? So from here, we write. So we open two parentheses. We put x here, we put x here. Then we put our factors, which is negative 2, negative 2. And this is our answer. We have factored this quadratic equation. Do you see that? So you can test your answer. By multiplying, you remember the FOIL method? I have taught the FOIL method of multiplying. Okay, so we have first x times this, x squared, x times the outer, which is minus 2x. Now we go here, minus 2x times x is minus 2x, and minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4. We have to combine these two, okay, because they are the same. They have the same coefficient with one power so we can combine okay i have taught this also so negative 2 negative 2 negative 2x negative 2x will give us negative 4x then we draw plus 4 you can see it is the same thing as this our question so it means that we have factored correctly do you see that i'm going to do another example now here we have x squared plus 6x plus nine. So you can first of all just you know open your two parentheses, put your x, put your x. Now let's find the factors. Okay, you can do this first or you can do this later. But let's find the factors. We are to use nine. So while looking for nine, what are the factors of nine? This is a positive nine. It's one, three, and nine. Now what two numbers can we use to give us six? All right, we can do a positive 3 and a positive 3, and it gives us a positive 6. And you also have to confirm that when you do a positive 3 times a positive 3, it should give you a positive 9. So we have confirmed our factors. All right, so our factor here is positive 3, positive 3. So we drop our positive 3, positive 3. So we have factored. This is our solution. Okay, so you're going to see this. When you, your question asks you factor, you will see this in the options. So you have to pick them. Are you with me? Uh, for, for, for cases where you can see this um, is the same. So in the option, you can see something like this, x minus 2 all squared, you know, because they are the same. Also here, you can see x plus 3 all squared because they are the same. All right, now let's go to this. It says x squared minus 5x plus 6. 
all right i open the two parentheses i just keep them down and we're looking for the factors of positive six which is one three uh, two three and six now we need to get two numbers that we subtract or add that would give us negative five what would that two numbers be are you with me what would the two numbers be the two numbers will be a negative two a negative three are you with me i know some people will say why don't you use a a one maybe a positive one and a negative six it, it will give us a negative five well let us test this out if it gives us a negative five when we do a positive one times a negative six what would it give us it will give us a negative six which is wrong our constant here is positive here is negative so this neg a positive one negative six is not correct because it didn't conform to our two rules that we have to check okay so this is wrong now you would see that negative two and and uh and negative three is correct so negative two and negative three gives us a negative five and when we multiply negative two times negative three will give us a positive six so it conforms to our two rules okay so it follows our two rules so our right factors to use is a negative two negative three so you need to test these two things okay when you add or subtract it gives you negative five and when those two fact those same two factors mult multiply each other it should give you the positive six let's go to another example okay so this example says x squared plus 8x plus 16. we open our parentheses we put the x here put the x here what are the factors of 16 they are 1 2 4 8 and uh, 16. so what can give us 8 what factors can give us 8 all right uh okay literally here no eight and two can't give us eight 16 and one can't give us eight okay if we do 16 and eight it should give us eight but when we multiply it will not give us 16 so we can't use 16 and eight okay so let us use four we can use four twice so when we do a positive four positive four it gives us eight and when we do a positive 4 times a positive 4, it gives us a positive 16. Do you see that? So it conforms to our rule check. So our factors here are positive 4, positive 4. So these are two factors, x plus 4 and x plus 4. Okay? So now, let us go now to solve it. That's number five. It says solve. Still the same first method, but there's another step that we have to add. Now, this says x squared minus 5x equal to 6. Okay. Since we have an equal to sign, we have to take 6 here and make this zero. So everything has to come here to look like this, all right? So we bring six here, taking six to the other side, don't forget your sign changes to negative. So it's, it gives us x squared minus five x minus six equal to zero, okay? This equal to zero means we have to solve, okay? So here now, we now open up our parentheses, equal to zero we'll put our x here put our x here now what factors are we looking for we're looking for the factors of negative six okay which is one two three and six now what can give us negative five all right and when we multiply it should give us negative six if we say we use uh negative two negative three 
If we use negative 2, negative 3, it will give us negative 5. But when we multiply them, negative 2, negative 3, it would give us a positive 6, which is wrong. So we can't use this. We can't use negative 2, negative 3. Let us try uh, 6 and 1. And to get a negative 5, it has to be a negative 6, positive 1. That's the only time you get a negative 5. Okay, because, you know, you subtract and the bigger number takes the negative sign. All right? Please, if you're still confused with sign numbers, do watch that video, Understanding Sign Rules. Okay? And if we multiply this negative 6 times 1, we get a negative 6, which is the same as this. So our rule checker is correct. So our factors are negative 6, positive 1. So we put them negative 6, positive 1. So we come down here, we do our negative 6, positive, uh, that's uh, x negative 6, x uh, uh, positive 1 equal to 0. So we are told to solve for x. So we do x uh, negative 6, we equate each of these factors to 0. So x minus 6 will be equal to 0, and x plus 1 will be equal to 0. So to solve for x, we take negative 6 to the other side. It becomes x equal to, taking negative 6, it becomes 6. x here, taking negative, uh, positive 1 to the other side, it becomes what? A negative 1. So our final answer is x is equal to 6, or negative one so we have solved for x do you see that it's a quadratic equation so you're going to have two values of x okay now let's go to the next question sorry delay Okay, so number six says x squared plus 6x equal to 7. Let us take 7 to the side. It becomes negative. So that's x squared plus 6x negative 7 equal to 0. All right, so now, you know, we let us just quickly look for our factors of negative 7. And the factors of negative 7 is just 1 and 7. <laughs> no, seven, 7 is an odd number. Okay, so it's just 1 and 7. All right, so what two numbers can we use that would give us positive 6? We can use a positive 7, a negative 1. It will give us a positive 6. Okay, positive 7, negative 1 will subtract and the sign it will take to take the sign of the bigger number. Okay, so we have that. So let's confirm. So when we do a positive 7 times a negative 1, it gives us a negative 7, which is correct to this uh, uh, constant here. Okay, so these two rules are correct. So we open our parentheses, equal to 0. We put our x here, put our x here. We put our positive 7, we put our negative 1. So from here, we equate this to 0, equate this minus 1, equal to zero you know both like this are equal to zero so you equate them separately so we get individual values of x so x here will be taking positive seven here it becomes negative seven x here will be taking negative one here it becomes a positive one so our final answer is x is one or negative seven okay so that's our answer for question six let us go to question seven. Okay. Question seven says x squared minus five equal to four x. We have to arrange this to look like this quadratic equation. So take four x here. So we put four, taking this positive to it becomes negative. So let four x be in here, okay? Why are 5 be out here? That's our constant, our C. Okay, this is our B. All right, so equal to 0. Okay, so from here now, we have to find the factors of what? 5. What are the factors of negative 5? It's just 1 and 
5. Okay? So to get a negative 4, we do a negative 5 positive 1, which gives us what? A, uh, a negative 4. And when we multiply, it gives us what? A negative 5. So our factors are correct. So we put them in parentheses. Okay? You use this method for any sort of numbers, okay? Once you are perfect with this, any quadratic equations you see this way that doesn't have, that has a coefficient of 1, use this method and you will surely get it, okay? So we have negative 5 here and positive 1. Those are our two factors. So we equate this to 0, equate this to 0 to solve for x. So here x becomes positive 5 because negative comes here becomes positive. And negative one goes here because uh, positive one goes here becomes negative. So our answer is x is equal to five or negative. Sorry, and and okay, and negative one. Okay, so let me clear the entire screen so we can go to question eight. So question eight says x squared plus 6x my equal to negative 9. So we take this negative 9 to this side. It gives us what? x squared plus 6x, all right, equal to, uh, taking it, it becomes positive 9 equal to 0. Should I solve this? Oh, sorry, I think I repeated this. I repeated this question here. We have done this. So the next step you have to do is just to, you know, uh, equate the factors to zero. Okay, so let's not waste time here. Sorry I repeated this question because I was also wondering why do I have 11 questions? I should have 10. Okay, so let's quickly go to number nine. Number nine says x squared plus equal to 7x minus 10. All right, so here we have to take all this to this other side. So we have x squared taking positive 7x to this side, it gives us negative 7x. Then negative 10 to this side gives us what? Positive 10 equal to 0. So we are looking for the factors of positive 10. So this gives us uh, 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay? So what two numbers can we use to get negative 7? We can use negative 2, negative 5, right? This gives us negative 7. And negative 2 times negative 5 gives us what? A positive 10. So our two factors are correct. You must always test this too. Okay? So we have in parentheses x, x, we have negative 2, negative 5. So we equate this negative 2 equal to 0. x minus 5 equal to 0. So we'll bring 2 to the other side. So x gives us 2 and x gives us what? 5. All right, so x is 2 and 5. All right, that's the solution for x. Now, for number 10, 10 says x squared plus 3x equal to negative 2. Take this to the side. We have x squared plus 3x positive 2 equal to 0. So what are the factors of positive 2? We have 1 and 2. And how do we get positive 3? We can do a positive uh, 1, a positive 2. It gives us a positive 3. And a positive 1 times a positive 2, it gives us what? A 2. So we are correct, a positive 2. Okay? So we put in our parentheses. X here, X here, we have positive 1, positive 2, equal to 0. And we have X plus 1 equal to 0 x plus 2 equal to 0 and we take this to the other side x becomes negative 1 x becomes negative 2 so these are two solutions for x that's negative 1 and negative 2 okay our final question says x squared minus 8x equal to negative 12 we take negative 12 to this side gives us x squared negative x 8x positive taking negative to this side becomes a positive 12 equal to zero let's look for the factors of positive 12 they are one two three four six and 12. now what two numbers can we use to get a negative eight and when we also multiply 
we should get a positive 12. All right. Uh, we can use a negative 2, negative 6. Okay. So that gives us a negative 8. And when we do a negative 2 times negative 6, it gives us a positive 12. Okay. So it follows our two checker rule. All right. So here we now do in parentheses equal to zero put our x here put our x here and put our two factors which is negative two negative six then we equate this to zero to solve for x so x becomes here x is becomes negative two to the other side becomes a positive two and x also becomes a positive six so we have x is a two and a six okay we've come to the end of this of this video i hope you enjoy this video thank you for being patient to the end all right and i know that when you go through this video you know i've done this 10 times right i'm sure any question like this you see okay in the gd you're gonna get it if you need more practice do check out our course okay uh you know i'm still working on the course but uh in in a few maybe one week everything would be up and running but just register on the course so you're notified when everything is uploaded, uploaded with worksheets and the videos arranged. All right, so thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. You can check our website for summary, go, uh, summary notes like your social studies and RLA, study guides, free practice questions, download of your GED formula sheet. You can join our Facebook group, lovely love group to help you and support you. You can also contact me for one-on-one -on -one tutoring if you require. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead you to heaven at last and give you peace right here on earth. You know, give you victory over every challenge, every battle of your life in your family, be it financial, whichever battles, all solution, all victory is in Christ Jesus. Come to him today and he would give you rest. All right. Thank you and see you in our next video. I wish you success in life and also in your GED test. You are destined to win.